it has been officially delayed to November 29th. <laughs> Did you see the picture down below, the sticker? <laughs> uh, no, we're not going to come out the 30th of September. We'll come out November 29th. Take the sticker over it. That's November some crazy stuff. 29th. Yo, honestly, this game looks amazing. Um, I want to fuck with it, but yo, they be doing the wildest shit. Like, I don't know. I, I kind of have to wait. I haven't. Oh God, the sticker is hilarious. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't fucked with um a Final Fantasy since like eight or nine. Be honest, man. I have never played a Final Fantasy. Sir, you I never. I never would. Huh? Final Fantasy seven is is like a staple in all gaming. I believe that's actually that's the one I actually watch somebody somebody actually play. But I never was big on the turn based fighting stuff. Yeah. If I want to fight you, it's not, I'm sorry. No, if I, if I want to fight you, I want to fight you. I'm not going to, okay, you hit me, then I hit you. You hit me, I hit, then you hit me. No, no, we're going to fight, we're going to fight. Plain and simple. And that's why I never could get into the Final Fantasies. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, they kind of, they take up a lot of time. It's, a, it's, it's another black hole. That's what I call them. Games <laughs> that just sucks you in, like, it, it will suck you in. And I don't mind. I suck you I in in a bad way. Holes. I like. I like. I just can't do them back to back to back to back. Yeah. You know, like Fallout had me for so long. You don't want to put me on Fallout? Oh man, I'm just getting, out, I'm just getting out of recovery. I got my little chip. <laughs> <laughs> Go to my meetings. <laughs> Lawrence still wants to be with me. Life is good, man. Life is good. And to round it out. Um, Golden Eye Source. Apparently, um, for like the last ten years, um, there's been a group of a, a community of gamers who have been rebuilding Golden Eye from scratch, um, using 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 the Val Source engine. Um, there's a trailer of it of them actually like going through and playing like that first mission. It was just straight nostalgia. Like this looks amazing. I wish they would just do a HD re-release for this for any system. It would just be worth it. Like the mechanics were simple. It was I remember when this came out for the Nintendo 64, endless endless hours of playing this. <laughs> man, this was the this the Pi Piper multiplayer games man. Yo, just running around kung fu chopping niggas and blood and shit squirting out just does it for me. You want to play the, um, get a game shark and play this game? No, nah, I never and, played it with uh, a game shark. The Golden Gun, I believe that's what it was with the the one bullet kill. That's that's why I hated that. <laughs> but Golden Eye was. I lost friends at Golden Eye. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest. I lost friends to Golden Eye. I remember Friday nights, you know, mom saying, Your friends can spend the night for the weekend. We sit in our pajamas, eating Doritos, drinking Mountain Dew, playing Golden Eye on a Nintendo 64. Yeah, y'all had the. Y'all had the fucking. Call of Duty starter kit and didn't even know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping in, don't even go to sleep at night. Just playing Golden Eye all night. Between Golden Eye and Mario Kart. Oh, uh, Mario Kart, uh, yeah. It was just a party. I but think I lost playing Tekken actually. Like Tekken Three was like that was some that was some friend losing shit. <laughs> but man, they they actually do need to bring these on to a. The actual, an actual gaming system, not the PC, but I think you can make some money. Like if GoldenEye was ever to be re, really remastered in HD quality, it would be a badass game. But how hard is it to rewrite a game? It literally can't not, be that hard. I don't think it's that hard. It can't be that hard. These niggas did. You already, exactly. You already got the the layout. What you need to do? How hard is it to rewrite a game? You know what? And I bet um, you this isn't in, in the docket. This is just some off the cuff shit, right? Quick, but they are doing an HD version of Torok. Okay, I seen it. Torok was the shit. Team Torok was the shit. Torok was the shit. Killing dinosaurs. <laughs> That's a game that I never, I can never finish with without a code though. Like that shit's mad hard. That is. It is. So here's some big news for me. All you Titanfall fans out there. Uh oh. Finally, uh -oh. finally, 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 there's actually going to be a story mode to Titanfall. Finally. And I think it's coming to PlayStation 4. Oh, that'd be nice. I, I thought Titanfall was an Xbox exclusive. Nah, man. Well, not exclusive, but. I 
don't think so. I think I think there's talks of it coming to PlayStation Four. It might be delayed, kind of like how they did with Tomb Raider. Um, but I do believe it's it's supposed to come to PlayStation Four. Um, Titanfall was the was the game that almost made me get an Xbox One. You know what? I bought the Xbox One Titanfall Edition. That was my first Xbox One I bought. And what really pissed me off about that was they didn't do anything to the Xbox, which they had the biggest opportunity to do that with the first. That was a, the actual first Xbox One bundle game, bundle game and system. Yeah. And they didn't do anything with it. Just gave you a plain ass black Xbox with oh. a digital copy of the game. Oh, that's oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry yes. you went through that trauma, bro. <laughs> and I was pissed because they came out with the the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Xbox One, and it was all like fancy and shiny and looking good. <laughs> you see the uh, Gears of War Four Xbox One? Oh man, that thing looks sick. Yo, that controller looks fucking sick. There's like blood splatters the, on it. The the pro controller for it, the I buy a pro controller is like two hundred bucks. Two hundred dollars. No. What if you rage quit and break that shit? Hell no. <laughs> Two hundred bucks. Oh no, I definitely I, can't I, do that. I could be wrong on the price, but it's up. It's up there. It's not. Actually, I believe it's two hundred bucks because the pro control controller right now is is one fifty. Well, not the pro. My bad. The elite. Elite. Let me get it right. The elite controller is one fifty, but the gears of gears of war version is going to be about two hundred bucks. I think and that is a little ridiculous. Ridiculous. To get that shit, I would need like a sponsorship. Exactly. <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> Hook us up. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Yo, we do promos. We do promos. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this this Titanfall looked pretty sick, man. Titanfall was was a pretty sick game. Yo, because a lot of games build off a of Titan for Titanfall. Advanced Warfare build yeah, true that. build off the of Titan for Titanfall 100%. with the. The, the the jump in and the robots and that's and Titanfall was it was a good game good game for its time but if they would have came out with the um, um story mode from the beginning it would probably did a lot better better why wouldn't they think they need a story mode though that was the time the time where I don't know I couldn't even answer that one I don't even know because the game was so so big they didn't want to waste it on a story mode. Because a lot of people, a lot of people, they probably figure a lot of people don't play story modes anyway. They just jump on to right on, to right on. They probably thought of Call of Duty and thinking of the mo- the multiplayer on Call of Duty is like people don't really play story mode on these games. I so let's just, let's just make a. Duty. I always play story mode on Call of Duty, just to play it on hard, get my achievements, and call it a day. They always got like a fucking zombie level though. I hate those levels. <laughs> Shit gives me anxiety. But Titanfall comes out October twenty October twenty eighth, and like you said, it is on a PS four. Boom! There well, you go. Well, I guess since EA does own it, it's an EA EA game, so it's only right that it will come on come on a PlayStation four. But I see that I don't think it's going to be a PC version of the game. So. Oh yeah, uh, I was saying that the I think it's going to be a PC version of the game. But I don't think for the beta, they're they're giving a PC beta for the game. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's what it was. That's what it is. Yeah, because I'm 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 thinking like um I don't know niggas on niggas with PCs be doing the most like they be yeah. deconstructing shit and reconstructing shit. I guess they don't want no secrets to get out, so they're definitely limiting the beta only to uh the like I guess like the consoles. And I am on board. I will download that shit. I will give it a spin. Um, now that it's on PlayStation 4, it doesn't give me much incentives to get an Xbox. Like, at this point, getting an Xbox One is, is like, all about my pride and my ability just to buy one because I'm doing a little bit better at life. <laughs> but my thing is, I'm not... I don't know what to say to say. I like the P- um, the PlayStation 4 controller. I love it. I love, I love the little trackpad. Yeah, that's one's dope. And I wish that was on the Xbox One, Xbox One controller. But I like the feel of the Xbox One controller because I got big, I got big hands, and it just feels like it fits, you know, yeah. it fits to my hands, you know. Yeah. So, I'm but the beta does come out the twenty eighth of October, so get it. <laughs> it's supposed to be it's supposed to be better than the first game. So, and our last story of the evening: Fallout Four, Nuka Cola. Before you get into this, can I just say that 
anyone who got the Fallout 4 season pass, that was a fucking well, that was money well spent. It was. It was. Because it, it came out with a, a bunch of stuff. And it's not just a bunch of levels and, you know, you can you can rank up higher. It gave you more things to do. More world worlds. More areas you can go to, and when you go to those areas, it's it's even bigger. Yo, and never, you can do more stuff over there. Never once have I like regretted not buying a season pass, but the Fallout 4 season pass is phenomenal. It literally, uh, what is it? It was it ended up being six expansions. Six, yep. And people who got it only paid for three. <laughs> yeah. So you got what? You got three, three, buy three, get three free. So yeah, they they was like, that's oh my god, that's so. And, and you know what, Fallout is the biggest black hole out there. It really is. Because I'm telling you, it's been times I wake up, wife would go to work, and I would sit down at about eleven o'clock a.m. and look, and it's seven o'clock p.m. My wife's coming home in thirty minutes, and I gotta clean up. <laughs> 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 it's, I swear, That's real and it's loud. like so. It's it's a big black hole, but with this Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola has been big too. Actually, speaking of Nuka Cola, a lot of products has been coming out with Nuka Cola on it. I seen um the other day some um Loot Crate DX headphones came out with a with a Fallout Four set, and it had Nuka Cola on it. Hmm. Did you um see the trailer for this? I did. Can I just say um, that one level where it was like the amusement park and all the ghouls? Yeah. It gave me so much anxiety. <laughs> it's going to be a fun one. And it's supposed to be the last, the last DLC for this game. I hate the ghouls, man. I hate them. You got to get the perk, man. You got to get the perk where the ghouls are your friends. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about yeah. that. Did you ever... Shoot them niggas with a shotgun. You ever... um? Well, you, I know you played Fallout 4, but... You ever look on YouTube and find out any of those glitches on YouTube to rank up faster? Yeah, I saw one. I saw I saw a couple of them, but I just never did them. I did. I'm not even gonna lie. I I did because it was at the it, worked. it was it worked. It was at the point where the game was wasn't getting dead to me, but it was it was in between DLCs, okay. and I needed something to do. So I started doing the glitches, and I got I got tired of just running around trying to level up, and it worked. But this Nuka Cola, I can't wait. Nuka World, I love, an amusement park. I love that Fallout Four. There's certain, no matter how powerful you are, there's certain monsters that are still just scary as shit. Exactly. The Death Claws are still scary as shit. It's still scary as shit. Like I mean, <laughs> like when they come up. Oh, especially that one Death Claw. I don't know if you ever did you I guess you probably did. Did you do the one where the Death Claw was in the house? Yeah. And it was like a horror movie thing. Yo, that Death Claw is insanely powerful. I had to use like that crippling thing that I would that I would do and shot that yeah. legs off. <laughs> but yo, like that part, yo, it was like my butthole was tense, man. It, it, like everything was just tense playing that game. So that shit was real. I just can't wait to come out. Uh, it, it, when does it? When is it? When is it? It's August supposed to release end of this month. Yeah. So oh, true. So we'll be we'll be talking about that soon. That's a the, a wedding anniversary for myself. Oh, that's a gift for me. Oh snap! Thirty five. <laughs> Say word. That's what's up. Yeah. When you look like what? Uh, seven. It's gonna be the big eight oh. That's what I'm talking. No, about. not eight oh. My bad. Not eight. Not eighty years. I'm not that old. No, not <laughs> it's gonna be eight <laughs> zero eight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm proud, man. I'm proud of you. Hopefully, I'll be, you know, falling down the same routine. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, so that wraps us up for uh, this week of um, the Primetime Original Gamers. Uh, tune in next week. Is it, I, I, you know, is it weekly or biweekly? How do you want to do this? We can we can start out with this weekly episode and see how that see how that works out, but okay. you know I'm always open. And then yeah, and see how it was. Well, just, just tune in to the feed and um, always remember that uh, the Midnight Marauders podcast has been turned over to the SXS Podcasting Network, where you can find shows like the Midnight Marauders, um, the Roundtable with Derek Darko, 
the problematic life and times, 